All right, now let's talk about navigating content on Dude. Uh, there's quite a few ways of navigating your content. There's navigating other people's content, navigating your own content, navigating your team's content. Uh, so let's let's kind of walk through some of the main things here. So, all right, so right now we're here on the home page. This is where you're gonna land if you go to dune.com. Uh, you'll have your nav bar here at the top where you can create, go to your library, discover, you can search, you can check out your pricing plans, go to the documentation, switch to dark mode. Uh, and there's also a few other options here around DuneCon uh, and submitting feedback and applying for jobs, go in our Discord as well. Uh, there's also a contact switcher here where you can switch between your account and your team accounts. Um, so if you're ever, let's say in the library and you wanted to switch you to a different view, then I could go here and switch to Dune's view per se. Hopefully a lot of this is self-explanatory, but on the discovery page, uh, which is our home page, you have um, dashboards that can be shown uh, and you can filter for just queries as well if you want to only show queries. Um, these are gonna be the things that are trending by views, by stars. You can see some of our trending topics here as well um, if you want to sort things uh, by that. So you can also find you know dashboards by topic. You can also see our famous uh, wizard leaderboard here that combines teams as well as wizards. Uh, and once you're more familiar with that, you can go to your library. Uh, the library can be complex. So your library has your folders where you can always create a folder and then move content, whether it's a query or a dashboard to a given folder. Um, you can see your schedules. You can see any materialized views you've created as well as any data you've uploaded, I'll change it to the Dune team so I can have an easier time uh, of seeing this, right? This would be where you manage and delete some of your data sets, um, alerts, schedules, et cetera, right? So everyone's work is all in one place. So you can see for the Dune team, we've got quite a few uh, queries and folders and dashboards in here. Um, so sometimes you might want to go and search for specific things within your library, uh, this can be confusing, but you want to use this search here, not this search up here. So I'll use this search here to search like DEX um, and get different DEX related queries down here as well. All right, now let's talk about global search. Uh, so when you search global search, you have a few types of content. You have your queries and dashboards, topics, as well as creators. Uh, and there's also advanced search, All right? So when it comes to advanced search, uh, there are a few kind of filters that you can use uh, to see that check that title includes decks or that we're searching for specific tags or searching for a specific author, right? So I could do author um, LME and this will search for Dex content that only LME has created, right? Um, updated before or after I think is very key, especially in this space, uh, you probably want for example, Dex updated after, um, let's do 2024. Oh, let's see, what's what's last month? All right, so I might do this to see, okay, updated only within the last two months and you can actually see the updated out here. So that way you're getting the most up-to-date information. Um, getting smart about this kind of advanced search will help you a lot when you're looking for, um, when you're looking for data, all right? Uh, the other kind of search that might be useful for you is you might want to be able to do code search, uh, right? So to be able to do code search, you'll see here there's a code thing. Um, you're actually searching SQL text, right? So I might want to say, I want to see queries that are querying Dex traits, right? And I'll filter for only queries. Um, and this will give me only queries that have Dex trades in them somewhere, All right? So this can be very handy when you're trying to figure out like relevant queries, queries to learn from for your own work. Uh, lastly, I'm sure you've heard us mention, there's users, individual user accounts and team accounts. Anyone can create a new team. There's no limit to your teams. Um, the important thing is that teams can have multiple uh, 
people inside so you can share your work. Uh, you can have viewers, editors, and admins. Obviously, for the Dune team, we're all kind of admins in here. Uh, you can manage your subscription in here as well, which is also where you see a deeper dive of your credits and your usage. So you can see your total usage, total storage. Um, you can also export your usage in a CSV file if you want to go more granular into how credits are being spent on your team. Um, and if you go to your individual account, there's some other account settings for your password, email, et cetera, et cetera, that you might want to uh, have in here as well. Thank you.